Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew Age and it's a bottle of the Affenconig Imperial IPA. This beer is coming in at 8.2% ABV. It's in a 33 centiliter bottle. And well, it's been brewed with Amarillo, Citra, Columbus and Galaxy. Pilsner malt and caramel malt, 70 IBU. Black cap on this one. Again, I'd like to thank our German channel sponsor, BeerDeluxe.de, for sending the beer. Uh, Michael from Beer Deluxe is a fantastic guy. Um, if anybody's watching in the UK, if you've got any kind of British brewers watching, or anybody who's exporting beer, or, or who can help Michael, um, Michael wants to get, and I, I mean this in the greatest of senses, I can't understand how... Um, British brewers, he's finding it difficult to buy beer from British brewers to get sent to Germany. He wants to buy British beer from some of the largest breweries in the UK, in the craft world, and he can't get a reply. Beerdeluxe.de. If you can help Michael out, please kind of jump in, help him out. He just... He wants to buy British beer to sell in Germany. Come on. Anyway, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. New brewery for me, German brewery, Brew Age. Lots of exciting stuff now happening in Germany. I've been introduced to German craft beer just this year and I'm dead excited to try. I have been trying barley wines, imperial stouts from Germany. The land of the Bock, the land of the Hefeweizen, the land of the Doppelbock, the land of wonderful German beer, but generally not really craft, but now they're moving into it in a big way. So, double IPA. Look at that. Nice levels of rolling carbonation. It's quite a carbonated beer. It's a three finger, slightly off-white tan colored head. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the hops, what did I say the hops are? I'm, I'm gonna have a look in a minute, but I'm sure I just got a little, little whiff of citra then, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's have a look. Amarillo, Columbus Galaxy, yeah. Wow, this one's pungent. This one is getting me excited. Let's dive into this amber-coloured ale. Cheers. Ha oh. <laughs> ha ha ha! Straight away, blimey, beer of the day, this is beer of the day, gotta put it down, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an absolutely belting beer, oh it's still pulling, the, the, my palate on the back here is absolutely kind of raging out of control. Um, I've got this smile on my face. Now when I try a really hoppy beer and I'm talking on camera, I'm always conscious of the kind of grin I pull um, because we all love hops. Uh, you wouldn't be here otherwise. And the amount of hops in this beer is just sublime. It's massive. It's wonderful. It's grapefruity. It's citrusy. It's piney. Oh, that bitterness is still raging on my palate. Wow. It's nice and sweet to balance off that bitterness, but the flavours in this beer, this kiwi fruit, this apricot, all your pale stone fruits, it's like walking in a pine needle forest. <laughs> Grabbing hold of some of them pine needles, rubbing them together and kind of getting your nose into it. And, oh, it's just, just amazing. What a fantastic beer. Wow. It's got a cheeky monkey on the glass, on the bottle as well, look. Dressed as a king. It is 70 IBU. There's more, there's more. 
There's lots of orange, lots of kind of blood orange in there. Lots of lemon peel, orange peel. It's, it's incredible. Check out beerdeluxe.de for this beer. It's really good. I'm going to drink some more. I'm going to rate it and I'm going to go. Okay. Blimey. Blimey, blimey. What can I say? 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Uh, check out Brewage Imperial IPA, Affen Conig. It is a stonking beer. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers!